automatically redacting video files. Redaction is the act of obscuring or removing faces or other sensitive information from uploaded video files. Before sharing video with others, you can automatically or manually redact sensitive content in a scene to mask a person's face or other identifiable information. You can only redact video files that were uploaded in a supported file format, such as MP4 or ASF. The automatic video redaction feature is not supported on mobile devices. A new copy of the original video is created whenever a redaction is performed. You can also create different redactions for different copies of a video. If the source file contains audio, the audio will remain on the redacted video clip as well. To reduce the time required to redact videos, use the automatic face detection to find faces in the video clip. The redaction mask can be manually adjusted afterwards if needed. The analytic process begins to search for faces whenever a new redaction process is started. When the automatic detection process is complete, a thumbnail image of each detected face is displayed. You can use these thumbnails to select the individuals that should be redacted from the video clip. Masks are applied to all parts of the video where a face is identified. The processing time for automatic face detection can vary depending on the video file size, as well as other factors such as the resolution, length of the video clip, and frame rate. The success of the face detection process can vary depending on the quality of the video, whether the person is facing the camera or looking to the side, and how much of the person's face is visible in the video clip. To begin the automatic face detection process, first you'll need to find the clip you want to redact. The file can be found from a case or from the file search results. To redact a file from a case, go to the Files section of the case, locate the clip you wish to redact, Click on the menu button next to the file name and choose Redact. You can also choose to redact a video clip from the video preview window using the Redact Video button on the top right. To redact a video clip from a list of search results that includes files, click on the file you wish to redact to view the file properties, then click the Redact Video button on the top right of the screen next to the menu button. This will import the file into the video editor. Once the face detection has started, this will change to let you know how much time has elapsed in the face detection process. Once the automatic detection process has identified all the faces in the video clip, they will be displayed in the Faces tab. Each one will be given a unique name, such as Person Number 01, to help identify them and to assign masks individually. To rename an individual face that has been detected, hover on the thumbnail and click on the menu button that appears. From the pop-up window, you can edit the name associated with that face. Click on the Save button to keep the changes, or click on Cancel to revert to the previous name. By default, all the faces that are found in a video clip are not masked. To mask an individual face from the faces detected, Click on the eye icon on the bottom right of the thumbnail. To mask all of the detected faces, click on the Mask All checkbox on the upper right side of the tab. From here, you can click on the Mask Video tab to see all the currently applied masks, including the face thumbnail and name, and the portion of the timeline the mask is applied to. Click on a mask in the list to identify where in the scene that person was detected, based on the segments shown over the timeline. With a mask selected, click on the Play button to see where the mask is located within the video clip. Click and drag on the yellow bar in the timeline to adjust the playback marker. Use the zoom slider or your mouse wheel to zoom in and out of the timeline. The thumbnails will adjust automatically and can be used to help identify the portion of the video that you want to see. To change the type of mask that will be applied to the video, click on the Mask Settings button from the top of the Mask Video tab. The video under the mask can either be blocked out completely using a black box, or it can be blurred to remain partially visible. If the Blur option is selected, use the slider below to set the blur level to Low, Medium, or High. A preview of the blur level is shown in the pop-up window. 
click anywhere off the window to close it. Click on a segment in the mask timeline to edit the mask for that specific section. To resize the selected mask, click on the lower right corner of the masking box and drag to cover the area you wish to obscure. The masking box will follow the detected face, but if any modifications are needed to the box location, click on the tracking button on the top right of the masking box in the preview window. The video will start to play back at the tracking speed selected at the bottom of the mask video tab. Drag the box so it stays over the video you wish to obscure. Release the mouse button to stop adjusting the masking box position. If you're having difficulty keeping the box over the subject in the video, try reducing the tracking speed. Increased tracking speeds can be used for slow moving objects over long video sections. The mask duration can be adjusted by dragging the start and end handles in the mask timeline, or by positioning the timeline marker over the mask and using the Start Mask at Current Time or End Mask at Current Time buttons below the video preview. To remove an entire mask from the video clip, click on the X next to the clip in the Mask Video tab. If this was an automatically generated mask, you can re-add the mask to the video by clicking on the Mask Face button from the Faces tab again. To remove a section of a mask from the timeline, click on the section to select it in the timeline, then click on the Delete Mask button in the toolbar above, next to the Start and End Mask at Current Time buttons. In case any faces are not recognized due to the person's position or the camera angle, or you want to redact other subjects in the video, such as license plates or offensive t-shirts, you can add other masks using the New Mask button from the Mask Video tab. See the video on Redacting Video Manually for more details on how to add a manual mask to a video clip. Once you have all masks applied to the video and in the correct positions, click on the Create Video button to create a new video clip. The original clip will be kept, and the new clip will be rendered using the applied masks with a new name that includes Redacted in the file name. While it is creating the video, you can click on the View Details button to see the progress and elapsed time. Click on the Hide Details button to just show the creation summary. After the video has been created, you can save the video to an existing case by searching for it below, create a new case to associate the redacted video with, or continue editing to go back to the video editor. If an existing case is selected, you can view the case first to make sure it's the one the file should be associated with. When creating a new case, you'll need to fill in the name of the new case and the department it belongs to. Don't forget to click on the Save button when the case selection or creation has been done and the new video clip will be saved. When it is finished, you will receive a confirmation screen where you have quick links to view the associated case or view the file details. This is an easy way to change the name of the redacted clip so it can be easily found by other users of the service. If you choose to continue editing a clip that has already been created, you'll have the option to view the saved video again by clicking on the View Created Video button on top. If you make any new changes to the clip, this button will change to View Last Created Video. Click on the Create Video button again to make a new video file with the current masks and save it to a case. If you have any video files you started working on and were saved but not created, you can find those files in the Projects folder. Click on the Projects button on the upper left to view the list of files that are in progress or completed.